Gulf Coast State College volleyball team home from their trip to Charleston, West Virginia for the NJCAA National Tournament. A nice welcome home from family at the Northwest Florida Beaches International Airport for the 10th ranked Lady Commodores. And yes, most of them have build bears in their hands. A mall separated the team from their hotel in the convention center where they played at. So, you know, the team, as the week went on, more and more players stopped in to make those souvenirs. Gulf Coast was knocked out of the championship bracket on Thursday by McHenry County. They went on to win two games in the consolation bracket before falling to Kirkwood yesterday in the ninth place match. It was the program's first time competing in the tournament and head coach Scott Allen said they left with a better understanding of how the national stage works. It's learning some of the time frames, how much time we have to do certain things and then um, how that actually plays out when you're actually there and trying to get you know kids into the gym and touching balls and actually warmed up. We're happy that we got the experience. We didn't get the out outcome that we wanted. Um, but we got the freshmen to, to be there and, and uh, to learn from it, so we're, we're looking forward to next year. And Blundstown alum Emma Richards earned National All-Tournament Team Honors, a big award for the freshmen. That's really special. I didn't even like expect it. Totally forgot they did it, and then they called my name, and I just stood there. I was frozen. I didn't know what to do, but it was really special. And now the Lady Commodores will finish out the semester and enjoy some much needed rest after an outstanding season. The returning players, though, already excited to get back in the weight room and take full advantage of the offseason.